Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. It is already past, um, you know, uh, 12 o'clock, but still, uh, I wanted to make the last video of the day and tomorrow I will be doing uh, a lot of videos yet, uh, still, but uh, probably not as many as today, so uh, keep that in mind, obviously. Uh, and sorry about the audio as well, uh, for some reason Adobe is messing with me today, so yeah, especially in a crazy day like today, right? Uh, why not? Uh, but yeah, I wanted to make the last video of the day talking a little bit about the data mines that Gazabi and Oshida already made. Um, there are some very um, minor things that need to be added, I think, um, and considered. Uh, this is obviously kind of opened and they are working on it uh, to actually make the full post. Uh, but I wanted to just highlight highlight the main things uh, that were found uh, in the, basically the first day. And thank you, Oshida and Gzabi. I mean, it's just an amazing job that you guys do. It, it really makes, like, any gamer, actually, any player of War Thunder uh, a little bit easier because we, they, you know how Gaijin is. They don't normally explain everything because it's a lot of changes, right? And work like this actually makes us uh, appreciate a little bit more uh, of the game and understand some of the things that are being changed. So, yeah, uh, thank you for that. It really is something else. Uh, thank you all my members, all my patrons. Make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers until the end of the year. And let's get going. So, uh, this is not, this is work in progress, okay? There are some things that are going to be released in the couple, upcoming days, okay? So, don't you worry, I will be covering everything. But yeah, uh, here are the things that we have so far. So, for example, new camera and FX for ejection seat. Obviously, uh, some changes will be a lot of changes that don't mean too much as the Portland Max field repair increase. So I will skip those, right? New gem damage marks, new explosive materials, new physical materials, football ramp, what? New projectile type slap. What is that? New game parameters, dynamic lights, and some changes like that. New game parameters changes. Here is a big change in the game. Line of sight detection maximum range from 12 kilometers to 22. Now you can see, for example, contrails from, for like 22 kilometers from far, far away. So yeah, very cool. This is actually a pretty good addition, uh, if you ask me. New color red x-rays, you saw on the videos that I posted it today. A lot of things covered by that. Um, nothing too major here, game parameters, enable. Okay, uh, new flight model constants, permanent analysis, precision display, no, nothing too major here, I think. New sounds, opening, jet, landing, Kamas engine, this, in, this engine is actually pretty good. New air loadout change, okay, nothing too major. New AI movement types, okay. New armor types, glass, 106. New explosives, as you see here, for some of the new missiles and stuff, probably. Uh, APDS, slope effects, no show used before. There were some changes in the APDS. Uh, I don't exactly understand wh what it was, but uh, yeah, there were some changes on that. New aircraft, so yeah, H AH-6M, I will be doing the video on it tomorrow. Turkish F-5C, so yeah, we'll be showing that as well in a bit. F-15, F-16AJ, F-4S, F-84G, 31, Chinese, fairly, another prop, 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 these... This is a very interesting aircraft that I wanted to talk about tomorrow as well. MiG-29 for the Germans, OTU, some props, uh, Tornado F3 and Yak-141. Uh, aircraft flight model changes, so nothing too major here, just updated the flight f um, model um, format. F-16 all wings aerodynamics change it, I don't know how exactly, but still. Kafir Mirage, uh, basically a horizontal stabilizer. Um, I think it can pull a little bit more, but it's not by much. Some changes in some props over here that we're going to skip a little bit, because if not the video will be too long. Some changes over here. Here we have a lot of changes in the MiG-29, as you see, the 913, which is the Russian one. So some changes in the aerodynamics, fuselage drag uh, slightly increased, 
horizontal stabilizer can pull a little bit more AOA, which is nice. Uh, lower empty mass, only like 50 kilos, but anyway, uh, a little bit more fuel that it can take. So as you see here, they increase the capacity of the fuel tanks. Uh, wing gears, brake, okay, nose gear, and then SAS changes as well. This might actually change a lot of the aircraft. I need to test it properly. Some CFXing changes, as you see over here as well. You can pause it and take a look. Um, I will don't think I will be posting this file because they are preparing for the actual post. So I'm just covering some of the stuff that they made it public, but uh, I don't know if they want too many people actually getting <laughs> into here. So yeah, aircraft loadout changes, some custom loadouts for all of these aircrafts, the Lansings, some props, F-80s, F-84s. There is a lot of aircraft here. I will probably do a video messing around with that to see some helicopter changes, BF 109s, okay, nothing too major. Okay, uh, TU 14 added four fobs, okay, some loadout changes on the TU 14. I think he received. No, he didn't. Uh, yeah, never mind. Aircraft damage models, modification changes, weapon changes, loadout additions, and removals. So there were additions of incendiary bombs for a lot of aircraft. So, yeah, for example, here. Tram multifunction display, okay. <laughs> yeah, finally, it, it was pretty weird. It was kind of bugged, if you don't know, on the A6. A32, okay, some changes on that. On the modification step, some incendiary bombs added to another aircraft. As you see, a lot of aircraft having incendiary bombs. Uh, bill fighter changes, some modifications and other stuff. A lot of modifications in some props over here. Um, new sounds, apparently, new nozzle sounds, new RWRs for some of the aircraft, multifunction, okay, incendiary bombs, CCRP for the F-16s, uh, for the guns, pretty cool. Uh, they changed the radar name, I don't know if you noticed, but the Block 10 uses the APG-66, the ADFs, or the Block 15s, use the APG-66 V1, and the MLU is now using the 66 V3. They don't change anything else, I don't think, but just the name. Hopefully they add the TWS for the uh, MLU. F-86, okay, uh, nothing too major, new changes over here. Nothing too major, minor changes, obviously. There are some changes that they're talking a little bit about here. As I said, it's not uh, ready yet. And... Yeah, a lot of, I mean, a lot of things they need to, to take a look. I will just pass it over. I probably will um, talk a little bit more tomorrow when they actually f finish it, uh, everything. New air raider. So yeah, the, the Zook raider for the 141, the exported version of the N019 for the MiG-29, the new F-16 raiders, and the Fox Hunter, which is for now... It is a copy-paste from the AUG-9, apparently. It's not working properly right now. New ground raiders, as you see, for the AA systems. New RWRs for the new Japanese aircraft. Some raiders removed there. So this, I would like to know what it is. Uh, lock and track now have a range multiplayer of 0 0.7. I don't know what it was before, if it was 1.0 or something like that, but I think the ranges are being changed in basically every single radar of the game. As you see over here, every single radar has this 0 0.7 multiplier that I don't know exactly what it is. So we will need to wait uh, to actually check it out what it is. Some other changes in radars over here. Post Doppler search uh, speed range, as you see, increase it. Scope, uh, okay, nothing too major. Um, but yeah, basically this is it, guys. Nothing incredibly, you know, big. Uh, things are still being uncovered, so don't mind that. It thank you again, Oshida and Zabi, for doing this. It, it really is amazing. Then we had some things like this. This is the F-5C that I talked to you about it uh, on the Turkish uh, aircraft, as you see. So yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be added or not, but still. We have some other interesting tanks, uh, like, for example, 
the PSO, which is, I think, based on a 2A7, I don't know exactly, but yeah, a new Leopard 2, probably for the Germans, uh, beyond the 2A6, probably, something like that, it would be interesting. Um, uh, this was changed, some aircraft, here is more photos of the Leopard, some other aircraft, as you see here, P-47, for the Italians, a Lancaster Mark, uh, 7 for MR7 actually for the French which was kind of weird so a lot of these changes a lot of changes a lot of new stuff and a, a minor thing that was added that it's still not here I think uh, I don't know if it's fake or not but uh, some people are saying that they found uh, the um, R77 in the files and the R73 for the Yak-41 doesn't mean that they are coming probably not but still uh, it's something to look forward to uh, in the future. Obviously, the AIM-120 was kind of leaked by Olivia before, uh, so we can expect these type of missiles to come in a kind of far soonish kind of middle ground between those two kind of future. Uh, but for now, it's probably not going to receive that. I only wish that they actually added the at least the, the double stack of the R60Ms on the Yak and the ET variant of the R27, but anyway, we cannot have anything, everything that we love, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, this is it for the first day of the data mines, and I will be covering everything else that comes um, in the soonish future, okay? I see you guys on the next one, and bye, see you.